Guys, let me show you how sharp the image is. This is my hand, so you guys have a perspective of how big the screen is at the moment and how sharp it is. Man, that's that, guys. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Ryan. Hope you guys are absolutely fantastic today in this video. Let me show you the VV Bright F30 projector, a very powerful projector. Hope you guys like this video. You know what to do. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, let's start with a quick unboxing. And guys, beforehand, click that subscribe button and the notification bell. Let's move along to this video. Let's try to make this video slightly shorter. I'll show you the specs and I'll show you the quality of this projector. And there you have it guys, the Vivibrite F30 projector itself. Not a portable one as you can see. Comes uh, with a goodie bag. Let me show you what's in it. Let me take this out of the bag for you. So it comes with a user manual, a remote control, a cleaning cloth so you can clean your lens and a power cable. The user manual is written in English and has some illustrations as you can see. Good stuff. Moving on to the remote. Let's take this out of the bag. So it's a plastic remote. The quality is not up to standard with the rest of the projector. An up and down button, menu buttons, play, pause, mute, and the direct button so you can uh, flip the screen in several ways. And there you have it guys, the projector itself. Let me remove the lens cap. He has a IR on the front. The body of the project is made of plastic, so quite slick. On this side you have loads of vents. On the back you have the I.O. with two USBs, one HDMI, one SPDIF port, headphone jack and another IR. A fuse by your power um, connector and the menu if you want to control your projector using the buttons. On the other side you have two speakers and the controls for the keystone and lens shift or lens focus big knobs on the top of the project there's nothing quite slick design there's no logo nothing on the front of the projector at the bottom alongside with the four screw holes you have this small feet to raise the projector to give you a higher projection uh, screen and you also have some specs here on the sticker F30 basic version. I believe you can get the Android version and the resolution an amazing native 1080p. Alongside with that, this projector has 4200 lumens and a contrast of 50,000 to 1. Amazing specs for the price. Honestly, guys, I couldn't find anything with better specs for the price. If you do, please let me know down in the comments and now we'll try to review it. And without any further ado, you guys are here to check this, the quality of the projector. Standard YouTube video projected on my living room wall, painted in white. I had to remove the canvas from the wall. You can see the hook there for the picture. My wife will kill me. Uh, and we're doing that the projection distance is 3 meters, 118 inch. And the diagonal size of the screen at this moment is around 100 inch, uh, 250 centimeters. This is me playing with the keystone to get the image straight. And of course we have the other dial to get your focus correct. Guys, let me show you how sharp the image is. I take my phone there. This is my hand, so you guys have a perspective of how big the screen is at the moment. And how sharp it is. 
not bad not bad at all guys in my honest opinion i'm using the xiaomi mi box 3 as a source for the videos let's play another youtube video so you guys can see the quality i'm going to shut up for a while the sound you listen now is from the built-in speakers uh, which i found quite powerful in my honest opinion i think Tommy would have done what he did if he didn't know that you were going to be here after he was gone. You going to be the next Iron Man now? Well, no, I don't have time. I'm too busy doing And that. moving on from YouTube to gaming, this is a wonderful thing to do with the projector. Get some friends in play on the massive screen. Let's play some Forza 6, the old Forza, but that will do. Hmm. Don't mind my skills, guys. So this projector uses a LED lamp. According to the manufacturer, the lamp will last 50,000 hours. It's quite a lot. Bluetooth is not supported with this projector. And if you're planning to use the USB to read some files, some videos or pictures, you can do it. But be aware that some of the file types are not supported. I do recommend plug uh, Android Box to this or another video source. Of course, you can play files from the USB drive, but be aware that not all uh, codecs are supported by the, this projector. And of course, guys, if you're planning to play some football with this projector, you won't be disappointed. Massive screen size. Just amazing to play with this. And moving on, guys, let me now show you the menus of the projector. Oh, but beforehand, let me show you the black reference uh, levels and the white. Of course, filming with the phone, the phone is trying to compensate the lack of light and sometimes the exposure is slightly, slightly high. A friend of mine asked me, do you think this will be better than a TV? And I'd say, no, a TV is always a TV in terms of quality and colors, brightness will be better. This is just for big size screens. Uh, but with this one, you'll get the sharpness of a native 1080p and a very, very bright, even um, with the lights on. Uh, let me show you. Alexa, turn on coffee table lights. Alexa, turn off living room lights. Yeah, of course, with the lights off, you'll get the full potential of any projector, not just this one. So guys, let me show you the menus really quick. So you have the menu language to choose from, plenty of languages here. You have the picture mode where you can set your own. Uh, your own um, settings or you can choose uh, the, some pre-installed settings like vivid standard or soft we have the color temperature expect ratio where we can choose 4 by 3 or 16 by 9 pretty standard if you wish you can reduce the size of the screen up to 75 percent And of course, we have the sound settings to choose from music, movie, sports, or you can set your own settings. Alongside with the surround sound, we have these two options to choose from. SPDIF on or off. And of course, a function to flip the screen, mirror screen. There's also a dedicated button on the remote for this. One thing you guys need to be aware when buying this type of projectors is the noise of the fan. This one, it's okay, it's not loud. It could be slightly less noisier, but let me try to show this. I don't know if you guys can hear the fan noise. This is me whispering. So you guys have a comparison level. And this is me talking normally, I guess. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. I'm going to play the video.
yeah in my honest opinion the fan noise from this projector is not as intrusive as for example the gp9 that i tested a while ago i can live with the fan noise for this one no problems whatsoever it's just something that you guys need to be aware of the fan noise will be there and guys moving on to the movies this will give you a nice experience I, I've, I've watched a couple of movies already with this project I just received it not too long ago for this review and I, I really enjoy it um, the sound the sound is, is quite quite good actually I was impressed with the sound and of course the quality and the sharpness of a native 1080p with the, the lumens 4200 very very powerful projector within this price um, this price range I found it amazing I'll leave a link down below so you guys can check it out I hope you like this video hope you find it helpful if you did click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel it really helps saying that guys thank you very much for watching and I hope I can see you all in the next one